All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites. Coming day in and day out, the prophesied downfall of Babylon the Great. Um, Brother Shapaya coming at you again with a quick lesson through the Spirit. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles, a great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. And hopping straight into this, going to the comment board on this video uh, that I did called Dear Sakari. So just going into some of the comments, man. Because obviously, when I said that statement, I was going into historical facts about how Cora Datham and the, the other guy came up against Moses. Just giving it in a historical example, right? According to the scriptures. I never said that one of the elders was Moses or <laughs> Aaron. But if these people were spiritual, which, you know, carnal men can't receive the spiritual things. Spiritually, you will know what I was talking about as far as the body of the prophets or the elders, if you will. All right. Because the same spirit Moses and Aaron had on them, the prophets of the Lord today have on them as we speak. All right. What did what did the most high tell? What did Yahweh tell uh, uh, Moses and Aaron? All right. He said Aaron was going to be as a prophet to the people. But you, Moses, you was going to be as a God. Okay? So there's a separation. All right? So when Korah and them came up against Moses, all right, they came up in the spirit as in the Lord, hey, the Lord ain't only dealing with you, he dealing with us too. We Israelites too. We Levites as well. All right? And in so many words, Moses say, hey, if you want this smoke, he bowed his head. Go, go read, because I'm not going to go to the scripture for you. I'm going to quote it through the scripture, and you go do your research. All right? You go see if those words that I'm telling you be true, man. All right? Because this is how you know scoff is scoff. They don't go or listen to the scriptures you actually read. I read that whole numbers. Okay? They came in the spirit as if they was on the same level as Moses and Aaron, and they got judged for it. The earth opened up and swallowed them and a couple of other niggas. I ain't going to sugarcoat shit. Now, if you didn't understand that, you're a carnal, which means the Lord ain't dealing with you. All right, so I think somebody posted 1 Corinthians 7 and 23, right? So let's get that. First Corinthians 7 and 23. And what did the scripture say? All right. The Lord said, hey, if they would have listened to Moses, they would have listened to me. All right. So guess what? You still had assholes back then come against Hamashiach and his followers. The same thing going on today. And who would fit in that line of, uh, of the spirit, it will be, I mean, I'm going to call it for how I call it. It's no doubt, hands down, the elders of GMS, man. It ain't man pleasing. That ain't nothing. That's simply following the spirit and judging the spirit and being very, uh, uh, um, how you say, circumspect. You got to watch certain details through the spirit. And all you other niggas fumbled. All y'all, what y'all bring up to 2000? Well, that was according to prophecy. The Lord said he was going to hope for that day. But that went over your heads too. That was the only uh, uh, a camp really speaking on uh, uh, a King David and who he might be. Because some of you guys don't believe it. And they even told you it was based on faith. But according to the scriptures, David w was and will be back somewhere on planet Earth. Whether he came and gone already or hasn't. It doesn't matter. The scriptures say he was going to be here one way or, the, uh, or another. All right. The MOTB, who was really pushing that? Or Cornelius uh, uh, being Israelite, who was really pushing that? So follow the details. 
No, you podcasters are like niggas get on online or you do your videos and all you guys scoff. You guys are proving the point that we are those guys. Hopefully, and I say that with humility, but the scripture says put on as the elect. You other niggas ain't doing it. What was that? First Corinthians 7 to 23. So he, uh, the brother posted, you are brought uh, with a price, be ye not servants of men. Brethren, let every man wherein he is called, therein abide with Yahweh, right? So he, uh, the other guy put, what does that have to do with Moses and Aaron today? And he poses it. And then... Uh, the guy comes back and puts John 8. I'm going to say John 8. And I'm going to go into it, John 8 and 24. John 8 and 24. John 8 and 24. John 8 and 47. Hold on. It's going to freeze up on me. John 8 and 47. <laughs> Perfect. Do the spirit. He said. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me start at 45. Right, John 8 and 45. Because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you conceiveth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God, hear of God's words. Ye therefore heareth them not, because ye are not of God. All right? And that's what the brother was correlating, correlating to him in the spirit. All right? So he comes back and says, So because your scripture has nothing to do with the topic, I'm not of God. Yeah, okay. Anyhow, still waiting on some details on how Moses and Aaron correspond with the leadership of GMS. Only way I could think of that is in the context of Matthews 23 and 1. The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Therefore, whosoever uh, they bid, you observe and observe and do, but ye yourselves, uh, but do not ye after the works, for they say and do not. All right. Now, we have the elders ever fit that bill of preaching something in the scriptures and not living by it. You, 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 you show me, because. Last time I checked, the elders ain't riding around on the horse, all right, trying to uh, 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 sit on high or, or seek for preeminence as you other camps do, all right? And you guys forget that the scripture says, uh, let double honors be uh, to them that's worthy of it. So what do we do with those scriptures, all right? Who's the, who's the presbytery? Do you guys even read the scriptures? Who's the presbytery back in Moses' day? Was it not Moses? Did he not set up elders and captains of 50s and so on and so forth? Do y'all not even know your own history? Are you even assured of what you're preaching? No, you niggas just want to be fucking uh, uh, contrary. All right? And not... Listen, it... it, it you're contrary on the left side because there's a way to be righteously contrary. You niggas are just gone, all right? If we all believe in reincarnation and that the prophets come back and they lot, wouldn't that same spirit that was on the prophets back then be upon them now? And would they not be going through the same things that they went through in the past until the, the completion of the uh, prophecies? 
niggas are losers, man. Then the whole video I did, bro, like, it went completely over your fucking head, man. All right, what did Jude write about? What did Paul write about? He talked about niggas coming against the truth, especially them of the circumcision. There's going to be niggas that say, I got the truth. Niggas are really false prophets. Niggas seeking preeminence. Them are, 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 are the men that the Lord was speaking about in Matthew's uh, the 23rd chapter. The same men that were spoken about in John the 8th chapter. All right. That was a curse out uh, 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 chapter. All right. Because guess what? Not all the Pharisees was wicked. You dumb dumbs. But with that, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory be unto you. I will buy Shem, I will shy by Shem, Kadash, double honor to the apostles of great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be, above the ball.